This is a tutorial of subtracting fractions with unlike denominators using the area model. So last week we did adding fractions with unlike denominators using the area model and today it is subtracting. So here we have two-thirds minus one-fourth. So the first thing to do is to draw the first number in the subtraction problem. So we're going to draw We'll draw horizontal lines um, for thirds and color in two of those. So we have two thirds and then we're going to draw our one fourth. Oh sorry, those were vertical lines. Now we're drawing horizontal lines for four sections and we'll color in one section of those. Okay, and then our next step is to come back to the first rectangle and draw the same horizontal lines that we drew in the second rectangle. So we're going to draw, we're going to break it into um, fourths. And then we're going to go to the second drawing, the one fourth, and we're going to break it into thirds vertically. So we're giving each rectangle the other rectangle's lines. So now they should have the same number of sections. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, and then we're going to write how many sections are colored in on the first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and one, two, three. And then what we're going to do is come and we're going to take away three twelfths from the first rectangle. So we're just going to put a check in those. One, two, three, and let's see how many we have left. One, two, three, four, five. Five twelfths. And we see here that eight minus three is five and then our denominator stays the same. So we draw the first fraction we draw the second fraction. And then we give each other rectangles the other rectangles lines. And then we mark off in our first rectangle, we take away how many were in the second. And we can also check our work by looking down here. Let's go ahead and do another one. Now this one has some whole numbers. So we're going to draw the two and three fourths. So there's one whole, two whole, and then our three-fourths, so we're going to give ourselves some vertical lines, and we're going to color in three of these for three-fourths. So here we have two and three-fourths, and then we're going to draw the one and one-third, one, and one-third we're going to draw with horizontal lines, and we'll color in one of them. Okay, and now we're going to come back to the first rectangle and give it the three sections. And we'll come to the second rectangle and give it the four sections with vertical lines. All right, now each section should have 12. Each rectangle should have 12 sections. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So now we have our first is 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 twelfths. And then down here we have 1 and 4 twelfths. So then we want to come to our first set and subtract our second number. So first let's subtract the one whole. So we'll get rid of one of those. And then we need to get rid of one, two, three, four. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. And then what are we left with? We're left with one. There should be a 12 right there. One and one, two twelfths. And we see that here. We have two and six twelfths. We'll write it down here. Two and six twelfths minus one and four twelfths. If we subtract our whole numbers, we have one 
denominator stays the same. 6 minus 4 is 2. And of course we, we can simplify that. We get 1 and 1 sixths. At any time you want to pause and try one of these on your own, that would be a good idea. Alright, so step one is we draw the first fraction. We'll give it vertical lines, make our five sections and color in four of them. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to draw our two-thirds. So this is our four-fifths minus two-thirds. Draw our thirds. Color in two of them because our numerator is two. And then in a moment we're going to give the other lines to the other shape. So for our four-fifths, we're going to give it the two-thirds lines, or the thirds lines. And then for the two-thirds, we're going to give it the fifths lines. All right. And then in each section, we have 15. In each rectangle, we have 15 sections. In this one, we color... So we colored in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And in the second one, we colored in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we can come back to the first one, and we want to get rid of 10 sections, because we have 10 here. And so that's what we're subtracting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 2 twelfths left, 2 fifteenths left, 2 fifteenths. And if we see here, we see our 15 here. And then 12 minus 10 is 2, and it is simplest form. If you'd like to pause, go ahead and pause this and try one on your own. First, we draw the first number. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and then our fraction, which we need four sections, 2, 3, and we're going to color in three of them. All right, and then we're going to draw our second our number that we're going to take away from the first. Five sections, two. Those aren't very equal. Let me do that one again. Not great, but it's going to do. All right, we're going to color in two of them. All right. And then we're going to give each other the other lines. So on this one, we're going to give it five lines, or four lines for five sections. And then here we're going to give it three lines for four sections. Okay, one, two, we should have 20 sections. And 20 sections. We colored in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here we colored in one, two, three, four, five, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have 4 and 15 twentieths minus 1 and 8 twentieths. And then if we come back here, we want to take away 8 twentieths from our 15 twentieths. So we're going to get rid of 8 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. But we also need to take this hole away from here. So now we have one, two, three holes left. Three, let's do this a little bit better here. We're gonna get rid of that. So we have three and seven twentieths. And we can see here, so we see it with our drawing. We've proved it with our drawing. But we can also look here, 4 minus 1 is 3, 15 minus 8 is 7. Our denominator stays the same, 3 and 7 twentieths. So as a reminder, you draw both of the fractions and whole numbers if they have them. And then you draw the opposite lines in each of the fraction squares. And then you take away the second drawing from the first drawing, and whatever you have left in the first drawing is your difference. But you can also see down here to check your work. So that is a quick tutorial on subtracting fractions with unlike denominators using the area model.